I'm reading this book, The Yellow Birds, by Kevin Powers, and right in the beginning of the book I see a sentence that I find very interesting. Here it is. It seemed as if the movement of one moment to the next had its own trajectory, a thing both finite and expansive, like the endless divisibility of numbers strung out on a line. So this idea right here, the endless divisibility of numbers strung out on a line that we find in the sentence in the book, is actually the foundation for Zeno's paradox, one of the topics we cover in one of the other videos here. So I find it interesting that here I'm reading this novel and all of a sudden in the middle of a novel a mathematical idea pops up. And I can't help but wonder to myself, did the author discover this in a math class he had at some time, was fascinated by it, and hoped to bring it into his writing at some time? There's no way to know, but this is definitely a mathematical idea. Now, besides the foundation for Zeno's paradox, there's an another implication from this that's also kind of interesting, so I'll show it to you. The implication from this, this endless divisibility of numbers strung out on a line, means that any two line segments whatsoever always have the same number of points on them. So this red line segment and this blue line segment both have the same number of points. Now let me show you a little intuitive proof of that so you can see for yourself. All I have to do is go to this blue line and connect its endpoint with the endpoint of the red line, then go over here to the other side, take that point and connect it to that endpoint, and see that I get a little triangle right here with this point as the vertex. Now I'll go over to the red line and I'll pick out any point whatsoever. So let's pick out this point. Now I'll drop a line from this vertex through that point and see that it ends up on the blue line. So that means that every point on the red line is associated with another point on the blue line. And in fact, if I go to a different point on the red line, and do the same thing, I'll get a different point on the blue line. Now let's go in the other direction. I'll go over here to the blue line and pick out any point whatsoever, and then I'll connect that point to this vertex and see where it goes through the red line segment right there. So that means that every point on the blue line is associated with some point on the red line. Now let me go to a different point on the blue line and do the same thing. So I'll connect up through the red line to that vertex, and when I go to a different point on the blue line, I get a different point on the red line. In mathematics, what we say is this. There's a one-to-one -one correspondence between points on the red line and points on the blue line. That means that there's the same number of points here as there is here. And the other fascinating thing is this. It makes no difference how long these lines are. This line segment right here could be one inch long. This could be a hundred miles long makes no difference. There's the same number of points on each one. So it seems a little counterintuitive, but generally for us, when we look at line segments, we're thinking in terms of length, and points have no width to them whatsoever. So you stack them up one after another, it makes no difference in how long the line is. So the other thing that occurs to me when I see this, when I look at this idea of the endless divisibility of numbers on a line, this right here, Zeno's paradox, it occurs to me that the moments of our lives are very similar. That is, each moment in our life really takes up no time whatsoever, but they all stack up together to give this little timeline from the time we're born till wherever we are right now. And the interesting thing is, if you go back through your life and you look and let's say you pick out one individual moment in your life and you look at it, generally everything's okay. You go along and you pick out another moment and you look at it. Again, generally everything's okay. But we spend so much time in our lives thinking about the future and, and the past and things like that, that we're hardly ever in that moment to realize that generally, at each individual moment in our lives, almost always, everything is okay.